Feels like I've been trolling for years out here. I'm headed off the beach now. Oh, I'm seeing a couple Spanish now. All right, let's see if we can get on. A little further off the beach. There they are. Oh, there he is. I'm gonna put this guy on the king mackerel rig, I think. That's what I think I want to do with him. And we'll try it, man. Let's see if it works. Yeah, we can use that one for... I mean, that's kind of an eater size, I would say. I spent up those subpoena bunker. Hang tight, hang tight. Yep, I don't think he's gonna swim as advertised. You gotta be really quick when it comes to um, getting those hooks in there, man. I was too slow. I tried to put him on that king rig and he was dead before I knew it. So let's get him on ice and take it from there. All right, welcome guys. I'm off the beach again. It's been a slow start to this morning. Just one Spanish mackerel landed. Troll my way through some structure and then just start jigging along is what I'm thinking to do. Uh, see if the barracudas want to play. Yeah, there's a lot of boats out there, so uh, let's take our time. I have no idea what I have here. Caught it on the bottom. Is it a Spanish mackerel? It indeed it is. Oh, bluefish. Is that what that is? We can use him for bait. It's the bluefish. Long time no see, my friend. We know he's gonna get shark, but we gotta try it. Trolling this live bluefish. Let's see what happens with that. Uh oh. I'm going with he got sharked. Someone sent the tax man here. I'm guessing that's the tax man. Right? What do you guys think? Here's where we're at. Spanish mackerel bite sucked. Let's see if the barracuda bite's gonna be right. That is absolutely insane out here for a Thursday. Yeah, I tried them over there. I didn't get any. Why not? Yep. He might decapitate you, make sure you duck. <laughs> make sure you make sure if he does that near you, I duck. <laughs> All right. I think we could settle in here now for the long game, I hope. As long as he doesn't bring up a hammerhead with him, I'm good.
nasty, nasty fella here. That's a missile, man. Got him right on the corner of the jaw. That was sick. Somebody else try to catch you. Let's see if I'm gonna be successful. Oh, that's a scary one. I think we're done here. Really want to just take my sweet time on them. That's all. All right, got my tube back. Yikes. Yikes, man. I don't know if I want to try to perform surgery for that King Mackerel rig. Got my dollar store King Mackerel rig right there. Cuda right there, man. That one's a real one. Tank. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's where I hooked that last one. Man, they're on today. Oh, sick. I got like four of them right here. Really? Yeah. I'll chase that too. Yeah, they're, they're, you could sight fish them, honestly. I wish I had a live bait to toss over there. I'm covering these barracudas here. I got one, I got two. Golly. This one's bigger than the last one. Oh, he got me in the ship. I feel him. Yeah. No. Oh, there we go.
Oh, he's following it, he's following it, he's following it. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was something. Cause it came from a boat, you know? Yeah. Just doesn't doesn't work very well when it's from a boat. Please don't come into me. Come. <laughs> That's definitely the doomsday scenario right there. There's Barracuda in the kayak. It's a smaller one. That's for sure. This is the size to eat though, honestly. I don't want to eat one today, but that's definitely the size. A smaller one for sure. Alrighty. That's actually one I would eat. It's about as, as big as I'd want to eat. Okay, we went two for three on those serpents. They get pretty smart quick, man. It's like the first three um, kind of loops around. I had a bite. Um, I don't want to spend forever on them. Definitely cool from a little floating plastic boat. So I live in North Carolina, for the viewers that don't know. Um, Barracuda kind of show up here usually somewhere in June and they're usually at least near the beach uh, through probably most of September. It depends how cold it gets. And we get a couple other fish too. We get an occasional triple tail. Uh, they're hard to find, but there are triple tail that come through here. We caught one on the channel maybe three, four years ago. Um, there are occasional big jack creval that come through here. In terms of like consistent barracuda, I'm not too sure how much more north of here. Uh, maybe Virginia, I would guess. Maybe Virginia gets a little consistency with them. Flounder is real thick out there, but we can't keep those. I mean, there's not really many drum out there right now. There's plenty of sharks. There is the stray cobia always around out there. I'm gonna head back to the beach now. Still got some mud crabs we can try. Try to catch something else for dinner besides one Spanish. I wouldn't say summer doldrums, but I'm just choosing, uh, you know, choosing my conveniences, that's for sure. So maybe we'll try to get a sheep's head or two. So, all right, let me head back to the beach right now. Let's try to get a sheep's head or two and call it a day. Now the kayak told me he had uh, a real big Spanish mackerel. It's cool. Gotta stick with it one of these days. I don't have my reverse drive, so I'm gonna have to paddle backwards if necessary. Uh, we're using a half ounce bottom sweeper jig and uh, on this new Stratic right here, I'm trying to get a sheep's head or two. Should be, maybe there could be drum. It'll definitely be oyster toadfish, dot, dot, dot. Works for me. Nice fish, nice fish, nice fish out of the rocks. What do we got here? It's got to be a drum, right? It's a nice fish, I know that part. Ooh. -hoo. Oh, it's Donkey Kong. It's 
donkey sheep. That's a nice one. Oh yeah. Dang. Kind of a chaotic place for it. I thought this was gonna be a drum. Mm -mm -mm. A little summertime sheep's head action, round it out. Look at that one. That's a slab. 21, probably like six or seven pounds. I need some fresh meat, so. That's the flounder alternative slam, right? Spanish mackerel, sheep's head, and uh, barracuda, right? It's a 21 incher, I'll keep this guy. Um, I just want one for the table, so that'll do just fine. I thought it was gonna be a drum, so happy with that to kind of round out the day. This area produces some pretty big sheep's heads though. Without a doubt. Most of them end up being like five, seven pounds. But I think we've gotten a couple around 10 here. So, definitely one of the convenient spots. Honestly, I'm just fishing kind of where I have pretty slow current. Not slow, I don't want to be like not moving, but I don't want to be getting swept away. Unfortunately, I've got the, the wakes that can't, I'm having a hard time setting up and catching a couple more, honestly. Caught that fish in about a, minutes since I started fishing, but uh, boat wakes are definitely making this tricky right now. All right, let's see if we get on here. We got another one here. He he ate it real soft. You saw that, huh? Oh yeah. The blue water sheep's head. Can't beat a day at the rocks, catch a sheep's head, huh? They pull great, nothing wrong with them. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I just did two sheep's head. I didn't want to spend too much time. There's a lot of boat traffic. Basically these jetty rocks are covered with them. Um, just fishing along the, the edges or seams, whatever you want to call them. Uh, check the video's description, everything we use. And it was pretty fun though. Can't complain about those fish there. And those that are interested, if you want like more detailed refined stuff i post weekly videos on the patreon page um you know less entertainment more you know how i approach something like that etc another beautiful day out here a lot of boat traffic it's time to go i'm down and out till after that weekend so not not bad fishing overall though so i'll catch up with you guys soon